a heartbroken community coming together to remember the lives of two Central Ohio teenagers killed earlier today in a head on crash. Tonight, students and staff at Olentangy Liberty are leaning on each other for support. Good evening. Thank you for staying with us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Mike Jackson. And I'm Colleen Marshall. The crash happened this morning just before noon along a section of Africa Road in Delaware County near the intersection of Summerwood Crossing. Gavin Schlachtenbreck and his passenger, Hunter McClellan, both 17, were killed in that crash. Chopper 4 was over top of the accident site today and gave us this perspective. State troopers say the car with both teens drove across the center line and was hit by another car. NBC4's Rob Sneed continues our coverage tonight of the story. He joins us live from Olentangy Liberty, where a vigil ended for the teenagers. Rob? Well, actually, Mike, is still going on as we speak. It started more than an hour ago, and the students, dozens of them are still out here over my shoulder. I know it's very dark right now. Many of them are still sharing hugs and crying and remembering these two lives lost too soon. They say it's just all too much. Now, Gavin and Hunter's friends, they met at the school hours before the vigil started. They spray painted a G for Gavin and an H for Hunter on the school spirit rock. Tonight at the vigil, they were too upset to speak with me on camera, but said Gavin was a good kid that stood up for what he believed in. Those who loved Hunter told me she was a beautiful soul who spent many hours volunteering at her church. Today, a representative from the district said this all comes as a complete shock to the student body. It's heartbreaking. Um, it's almost inconceivable to believe that this could happen. Um, and just devastated for the families um, and the friends and the loved ones of these students. Now, Hunter's family sent a statement to NBC4, which reads in part, we are truly heartbroken and we want to thank our community for the love and support in this time of great tragedy. Our hearts also go out to Gavin's family and the other families involved, end quote. Now, I'm told guidance counselors, they will be available here at the school tomorrow for any of the students who need them. Reporting live, Rob Sneed, NBC4. Thank you so much, Rob.